let's talk about insulin, for example. There was an article that ran in Axios uh, about a month ago where they were talking about the list price of Lantus. A single vial of Lantus could run you around um, $287 list price. If you look at what the drug maker actually sells it after the discounts they pay to PBMs, it's more like $30 or $40, okay? So I'm sure, you know, pharmacists uh, and doctors have, have heard from patients a lot about the rising cost of insulin. Well, the truth is, is that insulin is very, well, relatively speaking, very cheap, but the list price of the medication is massive. And why is it massive? Because of the massive amounts of discounts that drug makers have been building into the price that they pay the PBM. So here's what's really screwed up, I think, from a consumer's perspective. As I mentioned before, the PBM is negotiating with the manufacturer of insulin in order to open up coverage to the patients that that PBM represents. So the drug maker, in order to get access to the patient, has to essentially incent the PBM to cover that product in the first place. Well, what do they do? They have big discounts that they pass through to the PBM. So if you're a patient and your PBM has collected a discount or a rebate that's equivalent to around $250, $240 off the list price of that medication, how can the PBM require you as a patient to pay $287 for that product when on your behalf, that PBM, that same PBM collected $240, $250 from the drug maker when you got that prescription filled? Now, on the insulin thing, this is really interesting because, Antonio, I I was uh, in, I've was i been in South Dakota for almost a week now, and we, you know, insulin is a very hot topic, so thank you for, for sharing that because that's a very, very hot topic because people will die without insulin. I'm in Walmart, and I see a sign for insulin, um, Humulin, actually Novolin, Novolin R, Novolin N, Novolin 7030, and let's remember, those Novolins, kind of like Humulin, back in 1983 when those insulins came out, the first human insulin came out. In fact, the first insulins that came out, pork and beef insulin, back in the 20s, they were all over the counter. They were not prescription. So Novolin N, Novolin R, Novolin 7030, Humulin N, Humulin R, Humulin 7030, they are non-prescription. You can go up there to the pharmacy and buy it without a prescription. Now, unfortunately, some pharmacists aren't educated on that, so you have to educate them as a consumer and let them know that it's not a prescription. Just read on the bottle. It doesn't say legend drug. Just read on the bottle. But unfortunately, some pharmacists are so used to getting everything for a prescription. Why are they? Pharmacists are so used to everything being billed to insurance. And when something is billed to insurance, it has to be prescription. Over-the-counter drugs is not are not covered on insurance. They're just usually not. There's exceptions. But so guess what? Guess how much a vial of Novolin is if a patient comes in and buys it cash across the counter, $24.98 at Walmart, $25 a vial. So when we want to talk about the price of insulin, it's not the price of insulin that's expensive. Just like you say it, just like you said, it's not the insulin's like 30 or 40 bucks. The PBM is making 200 on it. The price of the transaction, putting health, putting insurance in between in the whole mess of it, that's what gets expensive. You know, this is a crazy concept for many, but if consumers want to want to save money, use the free market, um, buy insulin cash, and you will be better off.